a narcissist will use a car journey as a weapon of choice because you are trapped in that car with them it makes it easier for them to intimidate you you're kind of in a hostage situation in a vehicle with them narcissistic individuals feel entitled to do as they please they like the empathy to care about other people they can be incredibly envious of others so you could just simply be going to somebody else's special occasion. And as it's not about the narcissist, they've taken offence to this. So they're in a foul mood and they're going to go all out to ruin it for you. And if it's all possible, get you into a state for when you arrive. They can be threatening to turn the car around on, on route and creating that argument with you. And then when you arrive and you're all out of sorts because the narcissist has got to you, they're happy. They walk in all confident and charismatic and charming and they've no idea what your problem is. So you look like the unhinged one in the situation, which helps the narcissist with their smear campaigns against you and they try to ruin your reputation so that they can avoid taking responsibility for their behaviour so they're not found out about who they are as a person. With a narcissistic individual, you can be in a car and they can just threaten to kick you out in the middle of nowhere. They might have started an argument with you. They might have tried to intimidate you in other ways and they can just threaten to kick you out of the car or they can actually kick you out of the car or they can kick one of your children out of the car in the middle of nowhere or where they don't know where they are where you don't know where you are without any money and without your phone and leave you to figure your own way home they can decide to suddenly start driving erratically and as soon as you naturally your your anxiety kicks in and you become fearful and as soon as you try to speak and say hey can you slow it down a little bit they gaslight you and accuse you of overreacting not trusting them so you can't win with them you've either got to sit there and put up with it and be scared for your life or you say something and they gaslight your reality they have no consideration for other people's safety or welfare they, they're just interested in control. They can have their say and then they can turn up the volume of the music on the radio. So they have their say and then they turn up the volume. And if you try to turn it down to have your say, this is when they'll threaten to kick you out of the car or they will kick you out of the car for daring to touch their things. They can drive erratically and then they can just brake heavily for no apparent reason. And again, if you try to say something, they'll just accuse you of being no fun. They're only messing around. They're only having a laugh. Or they'll put the handbrake on as you're driving along again to scare you. Now, young boys, young men and some young women can have a life in a car. However, usually all parties know what they're entering into. They know that they're going to start doing some handbrake turns and they've usually found a empty parking lot to do these in. Not advisable, however, people can do it. This is a narcissistic individual driving along the road with other traffic that decides to put the handbrake on for their own kicks and to scare the life out of you. They can create an argument and then refuse to communicate with you by turning the volume up or by that stone cold silence. Again, if you're going to an occasion that's not about them, they can be deadly silent towards you in that car journey on the way there. However, if there's other parties in the car, they might happily talk to all of them. There's an atmosphere. You can cut it with a knife. You can feel the atmosphere that they are creating. They're going all out to cause that anxiety and that worry within you. And then when you arrive, you can all be heading into a theme park for the day. And when you arrive, they just stomp off, disappear. So everyone's concerned about 
where they are and if they're okay ruining everybody else's day and then they can turn up at the end of the day like nothing ever happened what's your problem why are you in a mood they've had a grand day they'll be walking ahead and then hiding from you and then watching you look for them because they've got the keys for the journey home they can go all out to provoke you in the car and they know exactly what buttons to push to cause that anxiety and that frustration within you. They know how to wind you up and get you going and get you so emotionally charged that you explode out at them. Sometimes the person who's acting emotionally unstable is the one who is being emotionally abused. And you release all your emotions out and then they fill you. And then when you get to the occasion, they tell everyone, see, look what I have to put up with. They're unhinged, they're crazy, they need help, they need a mental evaluation. But no one sees what the narcissist put you through. They can use a car journey as an opportunity just to simply lecture you and tell you how you're wrong and you're not good enough and you're a bad person and what you should be doing better, devaluing you, putting you down. It's a very uncomfortable place to be. And again, if you react, they're going to gaslight you or they're going to provoke you in some way. There's lots of different tactics narcissists use in a car journey to intimidate you. Any that you went through, please put into the comments for people reading through to recognise they're not alone in this and this behaviour isn't acceptable and it isn't normal. If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do also add those into the comments too. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Lisbeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful in the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to or have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 rules to deal with narcissistic people if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, and how to create boundaries around those who have no respect for your boundaries. They'll be in the description also if you'd like to go and check them out. When it comes to dealing with a narcissist and the car journey, one of the best ways to deal with it is to find a way to not travel with them, if at all possible. Because if you are, you're going to have to walk on eggshells to avoid these kinds of situations, especially while you're there because you've got the journey home with them. And even if you're the one that's driving, they can still pull a handbrake up on you if it's available. They can still cause the argument on you. So when it comes to a car journey with a narcissistic individual, the best advice is do all you can to avoid getting in a car with them in the first place.